Hello, welcome back to Peach Tree Accounting 2012 tutorial. And today we're going to discuss how to create security and to add user permission in your company within Peach Tree Accounting software. So when you create your uh, company within Peach Tree, open it and click Employees and Payroll. Click Users and click Setup Security. You can also access this window by clicking min by clicking maintain, click users, and then click setup security. So when you get to this window, this will allow you to create new user, edit user's right, copy user, delete user, reset password, or create user's uh, password option. That means that you can make expiration on your password within certain time, lock out the user if they attempted the wrong password within certain time, or allows the administrator to unlock the password only or set up that the user cannot reuse their previous four password. We'll just click OK on this. Now, if you've noticed here, it says in my user list, I have four licenses remaining. And right now, the admin is the only one that has the license in it. But if you notice, there's other users here, but they are not checked. That means that these users are user from different company, but are not user of these Stone Arbor Landscaping. If you only want to see the user in this particular company, drop down this menu and then click users in this company only. Now, if you want to just set up this user to be the same user in all other companies, you can just license this person, license them. But if you want to set up the user to be different than any of these, then you can click new user and then add username, say test user one, and then I'm going to create the password. Make sure that uh, you're going to have at least seven alphanumeric character in your password. You can also add symbol if you wish, but it needs it's case sensitive. So you want to make sure that you um, write in the correct username and password in your notes. Now, after you create the username and password, you can select the type of access that this particular user will have. You can do administrator, which means that it has full access into your database. Plus, it can also do all these things. Full access, which only has right to all these without being able to do this um, maintaining. And then selected access, that, that's for the users that can only say certain part of your uh, accounting or certain part of your company. Once you're done, click Save, and then that user will be added here. And then instead of four licenses, which we've seen earlier, you only have now three licenses. Now, if you want to license Judy as well, you can click here, and now you have two licenses remaining. Now, what happens is um, if you want to copy this user or change the user's um, rights, you can highlight this and then click this, and you can change it into an administrator or selected access only. You can also copy this user by creating, uh, copy the user's permission, basically, and say test user number three, and then create a password, and then click OK. You can also delete this user if you wish, highlight that user that you want to delete, and then click that, and click yes. You can also reset that user password if you wish, so its old password is already here, and then change the password and then email it to that person if you want. So this is basically what this um, window is all about. You want to close that and then verify that you did set up the credentials properly. And then now, um, what is the primary reasons why you want to set up your username uh, permission and your security? At top of my head, uh, one of the reasons is because I want to make sure that these users does not see the part of each tree that I don't want them to see. So by just allowing them to see any of this, just the business status or the inventory and services, whatever the case may be. Uh, the second reason is um, I want to be able to see who logged in Peach Tree and who deleted or who made a change on a certain part by the feature of Peach Tree that's called uh, Company Audits. 
And the third one and the most important one is if I have multiple users and multiple companies, then that gives me flexibility to change permission, to change their um, passwords and, and things like that. So I hope you learned something and I'll see you at the next tutorial and on a second part of the setting up permission and security within Peachtree. Thank you and have a good day.